Hey everyone, welcome back into our Thursday night newscast. Time for the weather. Mike Schultz with you once again, and all I can say is, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> we weren't expecting the fog to sit around all day long by any means. What happened is we had a lot of moisture in the air, and the cold air came in and just condensed that moisture into fog, and it's just isn't, it's taking its time leaving us, but it should be leaving later on tonight, and we should be looking at lots of sunshine tomorrow. <laughs> That's what its forecast is, at least. Our photograph night sent in by Mark Schilzanz. Uh, more outdoor lights around the Fairbanks area. You can see here some very pretty uh, lighting there. And uh, as always, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. Send us some more Christmas photos. We'd love to share that with the rest of the audience. Your almanac looks like this. Today's high, 18. The low last night, 13. Record high in 1935, 42 that day. And 54 below in the record low in 1933. Sunrise and sunset. We're getting close, folks, getting real close. We only lost less than 45 seconds today. Three hours and 43 minutes of daylight. And uh, our satellite and radar showing most of the energy and the moisture down to the south of the Fairbanks area. It's slowly working its way toward us. But for right now, it looks like most of it's going to stay to the south. But we might get a few flurries, possibly. And the overall picture across the rest of the state looks like this. Again, some showers around the Ketchikan area, a few sprinkles in the Juneau area. Anchorage, 16 degrees for their high today. Chilly for them. How about that? 9 degrees here in the Fairbanks area. And 26 so around the Nome area. 7 below at Barrow and Fort Yukon, also 7 degrees. Lower 48 weather, more rain in the forecast over the Pacific Northwest. A pretty good storm moving across that area. Things are starting to dry out over the southern sections of uh, California. Rain and even thunderstorms rumbling across the deep south. Uh, Minneapolis, uh, 21 degrees. Elsewhere over the northeast, we have uh, 42 degrees at New York. Not too bad. On our satellite and radar, you can see a lot of energy moving across. There's the storms at the very end there starting to develop across the uh, southern sections of the country. The pink indicating where the frozen precipitation is and yet more precipitation moving across the Pacific Northwest. And it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, interesting. Also very interesting is the weather in the next couple of days, looking at more heavy thunderstorm activity around the Houston area, all right on down to New Orleans, and then flooding downpours are possible too. And the jet stream is going to continue its uh, wary direction, mainly from the uh, west to the east and the zonal to the north, chilly conditions to the south, just cool showers over the southeast. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow in the northern sections, snow showers and patchy fog for Barrow. Mostly cloudy skies for Nome and scattered snow showers in the Fort Yukon area. Here in the interior, we'll look at that fog and then uh, mainly partly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the day tomorrow with uh, lots of sunshine expected by Friday, actually Saturday, the way it looks right now. Over uh, southeast Alaska, chance of rain and snow for Juneau, but just windy and rainy in the Ketchikan area. While over to the southwest, uh, looking at the mixed showers for Cold Bay, rain for Kodiak, and isolated snow showers developing in the Bethel area. And over the south, Central sections, looking at partly sunny skies for Anchorage, mostly cloudy for Valdez and Homer. Time once again for our kids' weather. Only tonight we're going to be talking with a teacher from North Pole Elementary School. Hello, I'm Mrs. McHenry at North Pole Elementary School, and this is my fourth grade class. We have a fun weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that the coldest temperature ever recorded in the 50 states was right here at Prospect Creek, Alaska? The thermometer dropped to 80 degrees below zero. Whoa! And thanks as always to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. Our road conditions tonight, the Dalton Elliott Highway, patchy fog, some snow is on the roadway. And if you're heading to the Steese and Richardson Highways, areas of fog and drizzle reducing the visibility. The same can be said for the Parks Highway, dense fog in places, icy patches and freezing drizzle. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Six below, cloudy with drizzle and fog diminishing. Tomorrow's forecast looking at 10 degrees, lots of sunshine throughout the day. And tomorrow, only two days left until we get more daylight back. The five-day outlook, pretty consistent all the way across the board. Single digits above for daytime highs. Overnight lows in the single digits to teens below. And Wednesday, we might even see a possibility of snow. Back to you.